assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up. What are you talking about with that? <laughs> Makoto! It's standing up! Wh what's standing up? Come on! Do you even have to... Oh, I told you! I told you! Spike Chun Soft. What kind of last name is that? Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, Spike Chun Soft? What is a Chun? Why is it soft? Not my concern. All right, come on. Come on, Spike. Here you go. Here you go. Dang in the rope. I think that's what it do. Dang in the rope. Look. Ah. This Burly Z, this A Edmund, Dang and Ropa. Let's begin. What? Good show. Welcome back. Hey. It was good, y'all. All right, come on. It's good, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of this Dangin' Rope. I hope that you are excited to play because I am. I know it's been kind of slowly progressing, but now, but now, we have the ability to dive deeper into the storyline. We know the characters. Let me just, let me just stop. I got a text message that threw me off a little bit. I usually be on point with my sayings, but they threw me off. Yes, free time. All right, let's take a look around here. Man, I love video games. You just, you just, you just open up a save game and get right back to the action. It's free time. I want to leave my room. Why is it still chapter one? Hold on. Let, let me, let me check my, let me check my uh, Pokédex. It doesn't tell me a damn thing. Okay, maybe uh, we're just looking for a way that I. Here we go. Transcript. Good morning, everyone. It's now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. You're ready to greet another beautiful day. But what was the last conversation I had, Monokuma? Uh, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students are already so filled with despair. When will their hope begin to die? Okay, so we're still hopeful. Let me check in on my girlfriend first. What? You don't have anything to talk to anybody about. Let's see. Uh, you don't have like class or something? Okay, who is this? Why, why are you standing outside here? Uh, that's my boy Ryan. Yo, Ryan. What's the deal? Leon, shit. Hey, you bastard. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some time with Leon. He cool. Okay, I'm gonna do the voice is right now. Like, look, you're not trying to give me a loan so you can kill me, are you? My fans will all go psycho on your stupid ass if you do. I'm as popular as any international superstar. <laughs> you, you know Rich Chigga? That, 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 that's my... But if you're not gonna murder me, then let's hang out. I don't really want to be alone anyway. For sure. I spent some time with Leon. Hey, look. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Leon and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Leon a present? I don't have one, for sure. What would you like to give him? I have no present. Sorry, Leon. Uh, no, I don't. I'm sure I don't want to give him anything. Huh. Uh, I'm not even afraid anymore. Now I'm just pissed off. Hey, you bastard. Why is this happening to me? This ain't fair, man. I mean, I I am I wrong? Oh, um, yeah, I it really isn't. Hey. Right? Totally unfair. I mean, ultra unfair. Just like having to shave my head right before every damn baseball game. Well, I mean, you chose to do that, right? You signed up in the contract. Yeah. Come on, man. Are, are you against me, too? I didn't even want to play. But the coach and all the teachers begged me, so I did it. And then they made me shave my head just because just cause it's tradition? How is that fair? You really hate baseball that much, huh? Aww. Damn straight, I do damn skip back. Who's that? Who, who has fun running around in, on a dusty field for like three hours? But for baseball players, the field is like sacred ground, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, but, but it's not cool. It's, it's so not cool. Spending all that time at practice, getting covered in sweat and dirt. Hey, listen. It's just baseball, right? It's easy. Who needs practice? Okay, he on his Allen Iverson. 
I think the gods picked the wrong person to bless with that much talent. Oh yeah? Still, I gotta admit, baseball wasn't all bad. I mean, it did have a few things going for it. Yeah, right? Like, the feeling of camaraderie between you and your teammates. I don't have that. I'm a loser. Seriously? No, nothing like that. I mean, I can't stand being around a bunch of sweaty guys. I don't know about you, but that ain't me. So totally uncool. Then, then what did you like about it, Leon? <laughs> well, I hate studying, right? But I still got into this super fancy school on a sports scholarship. As long as I kept playing, I never had to study. <laughs> Simple mathematics. <laughs> and, be and besides that, it made me super popular with the ladies. Booyah. Booyah. You jealous? I got to third base in more ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. Just kidding. I didn't get anything. I got a kiss here and there. Wow. <laughs> I got plenty more where that came from. I'll tell you more about it next time. Anyways, let's hang out again sometimes. Talking to you helps keep my mind off this place. With the smile on his face and a spring in his step, Leon strolled away. I'm not really sure why, but I guess Leon likes hanging out with me. Leon's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. You just unlocked the skill, Robot Jock. Give yourself a pat on the back, you earned it. Robot Jock? I don't want that. <laughs> Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. What time is it? Is it like time in this game or is it just nighttime, daytime? Yeah, it's just nighttime, daytime. There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Hell yeah, let's get back out there. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look at my report card when we when we leave though. I wanna see what that says. Oh, they got my girlfriend. They got my girlfriend, y'all. Sitting there waiting for me with their books in her hand. I'm finna put some else in her hands in just a minute. Hello! Leon. Ultimate baseball star. I forget. Hey, study. Oh, yeah, here we go. Skills, robot jock. Robot jock, because he doesn't want to do it, but he just does what he's told. He just listens to commands. Hmm, maybe that plays into the story. You see her bouncing? Out oh, for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. <laughs> Hmm, should I take Sayaka for a while? Hell yeah! Okay, let's go for a walk! I think it'll help cheer both of us up. <laughs> I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew- I, I'm gonna just call her Sayaka, I'm sorry. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? I don't have any. Listen, may, may I ask you just one question? So polite again. What's going on? Um, and so polite again, I'd like to ask. Do you have a girlfriend? What? That's like way out of nowhere, girl. Um, huh? Are you embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, no I, I, a girlfriend? Hell no. I mean, no, no, not at all. Sorry. Um, listen. Then, do you at least have, have a crush on someone? J just wait a second. What's what's going on here? Why are you asking all these questions? Asking all these questions. Asking all these questions. Why you? Okay. I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It, it's it's not that it's bad. It's. I... But it's only natural. I'd be curious, right? I mean, because we're we're because we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates. What? Although, it's, it's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that, we're friends. We've been friends since middle school, anyway. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, we're friends, of course. Uh, um. So, aren't you going to ask me? Huh? What? What? A, what? A music change? Um. No. Listen. Not what? Aren't you gonna ask if I have a boyfriend or not? I mean, it's not like I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. Y you're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Oh, no. No, I definitely don't. The truth is, I'm way too busy for things like that. Th then, do you have a crush on someone? 
I wonder. <laughs> Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Sayaka stared straight into my eyes. I could swear her cheeks were, ting were tinged with red. Wait. Me? But... But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Y yeah, you're, you're right. Hey, um... Let's get out of here together, Mikado. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Whoa, whoa. Uh, of course. I would, I would never turn my back on you. Uh, um... I want you to know something, Mikado. And I, and I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. What kind of curse she got on you, bro? She knows, she knows how to read your mind. Every time she smiles at you, you start feeling some euphoric sense of pleasure. What's up with it? It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is one of is my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. For myself and for Sayaka! <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. <sighs> well, you hurt me again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Don't, 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 don't get out my hair with that. Hell no. Why, she, why did she say that to me, though? I'm sitting there reading everything else, and then she want to say that to me. Okay. Kidding. I just have really good intuition. Um... But is that really what you were thinking? Uh, um, well... A anyway, let let's just help each other out, right? And get out of here. No matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for sure. Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Chill out, Big Mac. Sayako's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. What the hell does that mean? This is an RPG game now? After vowing to Sayaka to give him my all, I went back to my room. Now oh, it's nighttime, y'all. Here come, here come, here come, here, here you go. Hmm, ahem, <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bug fight. <laughs> Oh, he creepy. The third day has already come to an end. When will I... No. We. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. Before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Mm. I love this voice. I need an immediate, fast-acting pick-me-up! If it doesn't act now, it's the same as giving in to regret! What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course! That's why Formula One drivers are so popular! Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow! Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it! Someone who does things... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. In a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than the backstroke or a breaststroke. Drive through is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. <laughs> what I'm saying is speed is the gold standard of the standard world. Which is why I said I need that pick me up. Meanwhile, point zero 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 zero. Mm. What? What is that? Is that a dream? I don't get it. Is it daytime already? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. 
Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Thank you, Monokuma. Appreciate you. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Ugh. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind, we got a visitor. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Um, 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 hide the lotion. Get rid of the napkins. Let's see who's at the door. Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Taka? Hmm. No, then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Damn! Well, what's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the storm seas may batter me, I will no f <laughs> I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Uh, um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Okay, okay. I was thinking about it last night, and... I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! <laughs> You're in my room, what are you talking about? And now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I better get to the. I better head to the, the dining hall. Yep, let's do it. Look at this desk. How are you sitting on that comfortably? You're not. Stop it. That desk looks like some straight out of uh 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 uh. What's that one Disney movie? Snow White. I think no, it's not Snow White. That's the Seven Doors. This is um. Y'all know what I'm talking about with the rabbit and the doorknob. Alice in Wonderland. Leave the area. Yes. All right, so let, let me make sure my girlfriend knows about the uh, dining hall. All right, all right, all right. So you just do whatever you're told. You damn near just like uh, Leon. Who the hell is that? Oh, Leon, what's the deal? You hear me talking <laughs> shit? Ugh, so freaking tired. I mean, seriously? What's wrong with that guy? Oh, that, that's not the right boy. Did he wake you up too? Yeah, he sure did. I, I guess he's going around waking up everyone. You know what I mean? It's seriously annoying. I'm going back to bed. If anyone needs me, I'm gonna be in my. I don't think it'll do any good. I'm sure it'll just come bug you again. Give me a break. Yeah, probably. Damn it. Guess we better just go then. And that's that. Why was he talking about going back to his room? I don't trust nobody here. I'm sorry. I don't. Definitely don't trust this girl right here. Oh, she the one that's always scared about something. Toko. Um, Toko? What's your problem? What? what? Oh, I was just wondering what you're doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? <laughs> I, I, I know! I just need to pre prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm so n nervous. What is she so nervous about? First victim, I mean first suspect. The victims are the ones that get the, the, get, they get the damage dealt to them. But suspects are the ones that we think are doing damage. I didn't even know there was a bathroom. Oh, oh that's a girl's bathroom. Whoops. See, I'm just checking the halls. Why, why are you not showing up to, to the dining hall? Why are you not... Well, <laughs> Juko, why are you not showing up? Hey! Mikado, like, can't any of you guys get a, a freaking clue? Huh? Are you for real? My mascara is like totally clumpy. I don't want anyone to like see me this way, but Taka came in and just like woke me up. What a dick, no balls. You look just the same as yesterday to me. How are you talking As about? if, it's like night and like day. S sorry. Aww. Ugh, I seriously need to reapply, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Maybe I'll just go see if Celeste can hook me up. And that's that. We've been in prison here and that's what she's worried about right now. Crazy. All right, all right. So we just got random people in the halls. Like, like I wouldn't catch them. And that circles all the way around. I, I think, I think we've seen enough. 
I mean, I, I could try second floor. Let, let me go see what's down there. Or is that, oh, that's upstairs. But it's locked. Okay, so this is what, uh... Ah. Uh, what about this right here? That is nothing, okay. The hell is this? The door won't budge, it must be locked. Okay, so let's remember. The bathrooms are up front. I don't know what kind of little hall that is right there. Could be the dining hall, probably not. I think that's... Hold on, the dining hall. Let, let's, just, let's, just, let's just go, let's just go. We, we're wasting a lot of time. Hope's Peak Academy, hold on, hold on. Oh, duh. Okay, with the, the food and sport. I, th I thought that was a little plate of spaghetti up there. My fault. Man, I'm hungry, but y'all trip on me because I eat. I'm finna go get, make me a little sandwich real quick in a minute, though. Hey. Okay, so Junko is not here. Oh, no. Everybody's here. Everybody's here. Cool. Listen to me. Let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedule Give to come together. I ain't made time for this shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know, I already mentioned this before, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. You, you, you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, man. It's it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, like anyway, did anyone happen to come up with um like any clues while we're sitting here eating this nasty ass porridge and like cereal? Silence echoed throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously? Like nothing at all from nobody? Y'all are y'all are useless. Like. Hey. Anything. It can be about like how to get out or who's doing this. Like, nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? You are going to die. She's terrifying. That almost scared me. Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! W what the hell? Like, don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Like, have you, like, gone completely insane, you robot? Adapt to my new life here? Like, do you have any idea, like, what you're saying? What? Yes. What? Sounds like the girl wants to live here. I can't get the difference between Mondo and Leon's voice. I'm gonna try to inhale more power to her. But she... Piece of shit! No way in hell I'm living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> mm -hmm, sure, feel free. Huh. Uh. Okay, so nobody has uh, any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would we be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, uh, sure, it could be something like that. But for right now, uh, actually clues are... Uh, um... Um... Huh? Huh? What up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal and bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Ooh, she... He, ooh, I, he, oh, he, he, she's talking about Kuwabara. Shahiro, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Got it! Certainty is not a, a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Uh, okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? Okay, I don't know what she's talking about, actually. Guabara, it's not you. Sorry. You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. 
He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think, idiots. <sighs> They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Hmm. Like that's just an urban legend though, right? Like I mean like even like like 10 people would be totally insane. Insane. I mean even like 10 people would be totally insane. Hmm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... But like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything, it's just a thought. Hey, hold on! But if they the killer, isn't that like a killer or a... Uh, <laughs> but if they're the killer, isn't that like a killer or of uh, a problem for us? Yeah! It's okay! Everything's gonna absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Cause help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it! <laughs> help? Cause, I mean... Uh, we've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried! I bet they called the police already! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? Hold up. Bastard! What are you doing here? You guys? You guys seriously? Do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. <laughs> the bad guys just come along and destroy them. <laughs> and that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on, if you really, really want to get out of here, all you got to do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell are you laughing at? You know, I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. It's, it's hilarious. Come on. I mean, you're like still going to go on, going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Hmm. Maybe if I... He turned around. Oh, my gosh. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. What's the deal? I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other, dude. I got it! Wait, I, I think, yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are right here. The right people, the right place. So, why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What, what, what are you? Ching! If you want to know, I'll tell you, it's a motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, oh, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, how but don't worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? Hello. <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Hmm. Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. You. What are you? Why would you do something like this? 
Kyoko always serious. I kind of like her, but then I'm like, I don't know. You can't really trust that. What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Whoa. Despair. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as that watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. <laughs> He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps. But what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Mikado! Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Cause you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey! Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Go check it out real quick! Okay, I, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah! Awesome! Thanks! I owe you one! Hey, um... If Mikado's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're, then we're counting on the both of us. If anything happens, just yell, and I'll come running. Um... I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where is this specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If the place is set up to watch DVDs, then... Let's go back to my crib. Why, why are you showing me this? Like, I, what is that little... What is this little thing right here? What does this mean? the heck is that little I don't understand what I don't understand what that little glowing that little glow dot means oh oh wow it just shows me what room is hold on, hold on. Let, let, I'm sitting here trying to watch the map I'm okay all right I see I see it's just in front of, okay okay get out the comments get out the comments y'all I see maybe an AV room right here audio visual room exactly Yes, yes. Okay, Sayaka, let, 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 me, let, me, let me scan the room. Let me scan the room. Let's, let's put it on. Let's put it on on this camera right here. What's that? Okay, okay. Surveillance camera. What about this box? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's. A bunch of DVD, a bunch of DVDs, and each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. You don't see your DVD? Grab yours. Maybe we could put it in? Pause. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. Sorted through the DVDs I found in the box and found the one with my name on it. And I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen. And then... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, is that, is that your sister? Let me chill. I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Your mom too, bro. They both fire. I'm just saying. The, the Naigis. Yes, sir. Pause on the pause on the middle note. Because what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. 
You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak Academy, it would have given me hope and given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. My family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looked like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized that voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Foul! It said, find the answer after graduation. What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Sorry, y'all. Mikado? What happened? M make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Can you imagine your entire family being destroyed and you have no way of finding out unless you kill one of your classmates and go home? Would you do it? Of course you would. I'm, I'm finna catch a body, I don't care. You, you, you mess with my mom, or my sisters, even my pops. I'm finna turn into Liam Neeson and come after you. I will find you, and I will kill you. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um... What, what, what's going on? Without a word, I poured into the cardboard box. Is it, like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What the fuck? Huh? Th th this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I, I can't take, take it anymore. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew they'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? <sighs> <sighs> hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. But both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? You see your eyes shift? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that kind of 
sounds like like us right now. Everyone's saying they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, I can't, the, all right, you can just. What, what is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight. Don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Like, okay then. Maybe like we should start by all just like talking. Maybe if we all just like talk about what we saw, that'll like help get everything out of our system. Mm -hmm. Besides, like I think we're all like super curious anyway, right? I did wonder what was on everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey. <gasps> Sayaka. Oh, she's scared. She's scared. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's, what's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Yo, she seems like she saw a ghost. Sayaka. I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I, I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her personally. What? That's just because you're like totally thoughtless. Um. I'm really worried. <sighs> Then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Good. There's no way I'm letting anybody leave this room after we all see videos explaining our motives to kill each other. You need to each tell me what's on this video before we start throwing these. Straight putasos. This is Mario. This is Luigi. Let's get active. <laughs> I don't even think they're Latino. They Italian. My bad. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have to, I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. Hold on, hold on. If they gonna tell me what they saw, what was in your video, Taka? I, I saw. Sorry, it's gonna take me some time to figure out how to put it into words. Hey, Makado! These videos right there are some kind of hoax, right? Right? I mean, I, I want to think so, but... What the heck? What the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie! It has to be! <laughs> oh, God! So nobody's gonna tell me what's on their video. Fumi, Michisaro. What should I do? Shihiro, whatever your name is. Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? <laughs> Why? How could something like this even exist? I just, just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like that. Is it because there really are the murderous fiend? What was his name? Genocide Jack? That's a hard ass rap name. Genocide Jack? I'm finna start calling Jack that. <laughs> what up, Genocide? That's only if it gets kills in Fortnite. What was in your video, Kyoko? Wow. Why should I tell you? Wow. Sakura. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset by what I saw. If you're overpowered, you must upset. Or you must accept your death. That is the way of my family. Damn. But still. I refuse to believe they would lose so easily. How? Sakura, family. Here goes Ifumi. What was in your video, Ifumi? Um, uh, 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 so before you go asking someone else, it's only polite that you say what you saw first. Don't you think? Well, I, why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't hear yours, 
I don't have to say mine. It's the art of uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works, man. I wasted all this time for nothing. Where could she have gone? She couldn't have gone far. I should check around the school. Okay, okay, let me think about this. She'd probably be in her... Oh, shit. Um... Where'd Sayaka run off to? Anyway, that video was pretty convincing. I almost thought it was yes, real. I mean... But it's fake, right? It has to be. I'd like to believe that, but... If it was real... Okay, y'all just bullshitting. Let me figure out how to get to, uh... Not the inn. It's not second floor. Not the gymnasium. I'm gonna check her room first. Oh, she in here. She in here. The music stopped. Wow, what is this though? What is this though? That's the desk I woke on the day I, the day I got here. It doesn't matter right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get it. I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call an emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. S S Sayaka, are, are you okay? Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? Uh, uh. What do we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Uh. I want out! Let me out of here right now! S Sayaka, calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? <sighs> I understand. I know how you feel right now. When I think what may have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really happened... People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone, right? Silence. So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way Oh, that's, that's me still. That's me, so we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. Uh, uh. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If, if that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself. No matter what it takes. This man, Big Mac, think he just got big balls all of a sudden. Stop it. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had came over me. Sayaka? Please, help me. Big Mac, do not get played by the coup, bro. Big Mac, do not get played by the coup. What if this whole time, Sayaka has been brainwashing him to say and act this way? Oh, hold up. We don't even know what was on her tape yet for her to be acting like this. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. <laughs> Finally, she raised, her, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Yeah, I'm sure you're thinking about wet. Makoto! Can I... Can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out. No matter what it takes. A absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. So please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. Huh? Uh, of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all Makoto thank you Makoto hearing you say that I feel like I can keep going I I can get through this 
As long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey! Hey! It's standing up. What are you talking about with that? <laughs> Makoto! It's standing up! Wh what's standing up? Come on! Do you even have to... Oh, I told you! I told you! This yes. Your flagpole! Make, 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 get the hell out of here! Just a minute! No, no, I, I want to join in! Damn it! Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell is up with those videos! <sighs> it, it, it's about to come out! It's gonna come out! My pris- What the f*** is this? My pristine, pure white, yeah stuffy! My honest, innocent stuffing is about to come gushing out! Uh. I balled up my fist, took aim, and swung as hard as I could. I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Uh. Uh. Are, are you okay? Hmm. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulation. Hey! But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Ah. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking. Um. What the heck was that just now? He, he just wanted to mess with us and, and kill my boner, and he, and he accomplished that. I couldn't think about anything other than fighting when the whole time I just wanted a pipe. Uh, um. Well, for, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we had just created. I told y'all, Sayaka and I headed back to the dorms. You should get some rest, Sayaka. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm, I'm gonna lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. Wow. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? Wow. I want to get out of here. But I can never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. It's quiet. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come no, how come, so how come someone's here? Grab the strap, Mikado. Grab, grab a knife. Grab the chair. Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. What you doing here? You heard Monokuma talk about my flagpole, and all of a sudden you just ten hut. You, you want to ten hut me? <laughs> huh? Sayaka? Well, oh, I got a knife right there. Or is that a, uh, you know, you know kind of knife that is. Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. I, I, is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something really weird just happened. Oh, I need to know what happened. I need to know. Something weird? Makoto. Just a little, 
Oh, uh, just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room, and all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Wait, is this Mikado saying this? Her voice sounded like the, all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. Okay, 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 so that was her. They had a little mistake, I caught that. It was like someone was forced, was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared, I couldn't even move. S so what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but it's still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that had happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You, you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during nighttime. But... But that's just a promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then... Why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulation was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each... Okay, Big Mac. Okay, Big Mac. Okay, Big Mac. Look, in my, in my city, the homie Mo and his friends have this, have this thing where, like, if something is, is, like, clever and funny, they'll give you slaps. Slaps is just going like this. You don't even touch hands. You just go, okay, I'll give you those. I'll give you those. So like if somebody say a funny joke or like a clever joke or like they they, they say some they, they they say some fly shit you go okay slaps her there slaps her there <laughs> Makoto <laughs> Hey um but two people sharing one room is you know ah oh gee I'm sorry I didn't even think about that honestly that didn't even cross my mind but, um no I I mean. I know me either. It's it's not even that I mind the idea. It's just if you don't mind, could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? What? Switch rooms? If if it'll help you, if it'll help put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room. It's just, are, are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't like concern you. <laughs> it's fine. I I trust you. In that case, then. Officially nighttime? Hmm. <clears throat> this as such. Soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Okay, I'm gonna do one night in her room and then I'm gonna end the video. So let's see let's see what's going on in her room, bro. <clears throat> oh man, it's already nighttime. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. And if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. That's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Hey, aren't... Oh, wow. Huh? Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way to her face. Thank goodness. It looked like she already started to get back to normal. Ugh. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um... Mikado, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it. No matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you open it. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Uh, okay, but, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? That's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I, what I said before... When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, sure, I know, sure. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. So y'all could give me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. 
I looked around as soon as I got down into the hall. Everyone else's door was closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Sayaka's room. I was finna, I was finna look around. So this is Sayaka's room. It really doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice though. Okay, okay, let's be, let's be a creep. Let's be a creep. Fetish stuff looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka stepped on it makes me look forward to... Oh my gosh, this dude really a pervert with it. Okay, check uh, check the drawer. My room came with a toolkit, but Sayaka has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. Check the trash can. It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help ta taking a quick peek. There wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to, to find out what was in her video, but it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Bro, if you don't sneak into the AV room and put that DVD on? Okay, check, check the bathroom. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. I don't think Sayaka would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Sayaka's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Sayaka's scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. I mean, that scent probably got some type of hypnosis on it, dude. Feeling a little better than, I, than before. I fell asleep. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even in our divine world of freedom has few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines. Yeah, whatever, Monokuma. I'm not gonna sit here and do this with you. What time is it? What time is it? Is it nighttime? Oh no, I made it. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Get ready to go. Yeah, we get it. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. Just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way down to the dining hall. Sayaka. What the hell, where's everybody at? <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here in the morning. Uh, good, good, good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. Figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers, and the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo. Sorry. My makeup like just would not cooperate this morning. Look at that smile, y'all. Ah, well. Hello. My apologies, <gasps> ladies and gentlemen. My morning. Ah. Uh... Duty took a little longer than usual. Where's Sayaka at? With the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad, y'all. Slept right through that alarm. What's your problem? What? what? Is, is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope. Got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Conspiracy. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived, except for Sayaka. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Aren't we still missing some people? <sighs> yeah, Sayaka and, Buya and Buyaka. Oh, Donald Trump. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high school category. So for her to be late... What? 
What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey, man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside me. And that speck started to grow quickly. Oh my gosh, no. I, I, I need to go. I have to go check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Don't let me control. Where I headed first was my room, where I let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that night... Oh! The room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Oh my gosh! It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where is Sayaka? Check the bathroom immediately. I'd better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, everything went black. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. When I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Don't you ever unplug while I'm talking again. This just got very, very interesting. My one assistant, the only friend I had in here, was brutally murdered. And I thought she would have been the one to escape. I, 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 look, we don't need any spoilers in the comment section. This is one of the few games where I'm begging y'all, do not spoil it for the comment section. And if y'all see spoilers, Vote them down, please. Because I want to hear what y'all think about this. I really want to know what y'all think, considering we were three videos in and we just seen our first death. This is excellent. This this just rejuvenated the entire series for me. I'm finna play this, and there's two copies. There, there's two. There's two. There's Danganronpa 1 and there's Danganronpa 2. And we just finished chapter 1. How many chapters is this? What am I reading? A Harry Potter novel? This shit long as... Let me calm down, let me calm down. Yo, if you're enjoying this video in this game, play. Please leave, a, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs up on this video. I truly appreciate it. Um, thank you for hanging in there with me, man. This is one of the this is one of the good stories, I can tell. Um, if you if you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I will see you in the next wait. Sayaka! Why her? Why her? She was the only girl I was in Hope Academy like this for. I was like this for. I love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Whoo! Peace, y'all. These, these, these are the best video games. Like, like, sure, you can Fortnite all day long. You, you can be the number one Fortnite player in the world. But like. There's that form of video games, and then there's the art, the stare, the storytelling, the, the character development, the plot. This is, this is where I'm at, I'm over here.